Vargo Staten Science Fiction Magazine, later Vargo Staten British Science Fiction Magazine, the British Science Fiction Magazine and the British Space Fiction Magazine was a British science fiction magazine which published 19 issues between 1954 and 1956. It was initially published by Cyan Press, with control passing to a successor company, Cyan Distributors, after Cyan went bankrupt in early 1954. At the end of 1954, as part payment for a debt, Cyan Distributors handed control of the magazine to Dragon Press, who continued it for another 12 issues. E.C. Tubb and John Russell Fern were regular contributors, and Kenneth Bulmer also published several stories in the magazine. Barrington Bailey's first published story, Combat's End, appeared in May 1954. The editor was initially Alistair Patterson, but after seven issues Fern took the helm. Vargo Staten was one of Fern's aliases, and the magazine's title had been chosen because of his popularity. Neither Patterson nor Fern had enough of a budget to attract good quality submissions, and a printing strike in 1956 brought an end to the magazine's life. Topic. Publication history and contents In the early 1950s, British publisher Cyan published dozens of science fiction SF novels by John Russell Fern under the pseudonym, Vargo Staten. These were very successful, and Cyan decided to take advantage of the popularity of the name by issuing a monthly SF magazine. The first issue was dated January 1954 and was edited by Alistair Patterson. The target audience included longtime fans. Cyan had notified established science fiction fan groups before the launch, so there was a letter column in the first issue, and a column by Vincent Clark, a well known fan, covered fan news. Science stated intention was to have at least 10% of the magazine devoted to the SF fan community, and also to publish only stories by British writers. Paterson's editorial policy for the fiction was aimed at younger readers, which led him to return a story by Brian Aldiss with a request for a rewrite to make it more suitable for teenaged readers. Aldiss, then right at the start of his career, refused, and never submitted a story to the magazine again. The stories in the early issues were mostly written by Fern, E.C. Tubb, and F. Debrez Fawcett, who also wrote gangster fiction for Cyan. In early 1954, Cyan were fined heavily for publishing a pornographic gangster novel. Key Cyan staff decided to restart the company under the name Cyan Distributors, with Patterson continuing as editor. The magazine format was changed from pulp to digest with the May 1954 issue the first from the new company. Cyan distributors had also acquired Cyan's debts when they restarted the company, and this included a large debt to the printers, Dragon Press. Cyan gave Dragon Press control of the magazine with the December 1954 issue as payment for the debt, along with the novels they had rights to and their contract with Fern. Patterson resigned and Fern took his place, insisting when he did so that his pseudonym be removed from the magazine's title. It was renamed the British Science Fiction Magazine from the September 1954 issue. In the opinion of SF historians Philip Harbottle and Stephen Holland, the quality of the magazine began to improve significantly, with stories by E.C. Tubb, Kenneth Bulmer, Fern himself, and Barrington Bailey, whose first story, Combat's End, had appeared in the May 1954 issue. However, SF historian Mike Ashley suggests that despite Fern's efforts, only the E.C. Tubb stories, published under the pseudonym, George Holt, were a noticeable improvement in quality. When the circulation began to fall, Dragon Press quickly cut Fern's budget in half, from 25 shillings to only 12 sixths per thousand words. This was half the word rate on offer at other British science fiction magazines of the era, and left Fern unable to compete for the best stories. Fern printed material of his own that he had been unable to sell elsewhere, and was also able to save some money by reprinting stories of his that had originally appeared in the U.S. magazines. More money was saved by changing the format to paperback size, and simplifying and standardizing the cover design. The magazine struggled on until early 1956, when a printer's strike caused Dragon Press to fold. 
The last issue appeared in January 1956. Topic: Bibliographic details. The first seven issues were edited by Alistair Patterson, and the remainder by John Russell Fern. The magazine was priced at one-sixth throughout its run. It was initially pulp-sized and 64 pages long, but changed to digest format at 128 pages with the May 1954 issue, and then to a paperback size, also at 128 pages. From the February 1955 issue onwards, the title was initially Vargo Staten Science Fiction Magazine. This changed to Vargo Staten British Science Fiction Magazine with the May 1954 issue, then to the British Science Fiction Magazine with the September 1954 issue, and finally to the British Space Fiction magazine with the June 1955 issue. The publisher was Cyan, Limited of London for the first three issues, then Cyan Distributors, Limited of London for the next four issues, and finally Dragon Publications Limited of Luton for the remaining issues. <laughs> Footnotes <laughs>